I would love to do a rapid fire Q&A with you. So I'll give you some quick questions. You give me some quick answers. I'll do my best. Great. Okay. So first, what has surprised you the most since being elected to Congress? How hard it is to find my way around the buildings, just to get from my office to other places, the tunnels in the basement. I find myself lost far more often than I would have expected. Have you made any new friends or allies in office? And if so, who are they? Oh, absolutely. Oh, my goodness. That's, that is too long a list to even name. I am so blessed to have uh, a freshman class that is full of people who are, you know, not only talented and impressive professionals and pe people of all different backgrounds and walks of life, uh, you know, they've just been wonderful to work with. So friendly. Uh, so, so we have an extraordinary freshman class and we really do like spending time together. So uh, that has been one of the greatest things about this experience so far is just uh, the level of fellowship amongst my fellow new members. Growing up, what political figure did you look to as the type of lawmaker you aspire to be? Oh, that's such a good question. And I will say in Florida, we are so blessed because we have an extraordinary delegation uh, and we also have an extraordinary set of talented political leaders in our state. So, you know, we're just right off the bat, of course, you know, I, I, I've already mentioned how much I enjoyed working with Governor DeSantis. Uh, I think he, he has been a great leader for our state in so many ways. Um, he has seen Florida through time of crisis and, and, and took us to a place where we landed with a strong economy uh, with our freedoms intact uh, and and really took care of Floridians and their families uh, in a way um, that that is very impressive so you know he's been a great political leader for us we've got two great leaders in the Senate uh, in Senator Rubio and Senator Scott uh, they both have been serving our state in multiple capacities for a long time uh, and then our Florida delegation uh, over in the house we are so fortunate to have talented leaders from across our state who really do an exceptional job reflecting the diversity of Florida. You know, we're a big state with a lot of different communities and different people. Uh, and, and so that's what our delegation reflects and really that beautiful diversity of our state. What's the one sentence advice you would give to your younger self? My younger self, I would tell my younger self not to think that uh, that I had it figured out because, uh, you know, in so many ways, the most rewarding, extraordinary uh, moments in my professional career have been the ones that I did not plan for and didn't expect. So I think I would just tell my younger self, buckle up. It's going to be a great journey. Describe today's Republican Party in one word. Inclusive. Describe today's Democratic Party in one word. Oh, gosh, I couldn't speak for them. I, I, I wouldn't want to speculate about how they would want to uh, characterize themselves. I, I, I'll tell you this much. My hope is that word will be partners. Great. Out of those who have announced and any probable contenders, who do you support for the GOP 2024 nomination? And to that question, I will say this. I feel confident that our next presidential nominee will be from Florida. Dis Interesting. So is that DeSantis? We'll find out. Okay, stay tuned. Describe the future of the Republican Party in one word. Promising. Describe the future of the Democratic Party in one word. Uh, you know, I just wouldn't know. Again, I think for the, you know, they need to be uh, really the, um, you know, they're charting their own course. Uh, over there, and I, I wouldn't want to speculate uh, what the what the future there is. I mean, to the extent that I think Republicans are really the future of you know American values and representing American people, uh, I think it looks a little more promising for us. In one sentence, within the next two years, how will this Congress improve the country? This Congress is going to improve this country by focusing on strengthen our, strengthening our economy, uh, keeping our country free, and holding our government accountable. And in one sentence, what do you want your legacy to be? Oh, I hope to leave it a little better than I found it. I, I want to work on some good policy, uh, treat people well, do honor to my district, represent uh, the people who sent me here uh, and their voices, and make sure that their voices are heard up here in Washington.